Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. Um, so this is try number two and I made a video earlier today and um, it took really long and there was a lot of fumbling, not because what I am doing is hard, but the decorating part was very challenging. So I probably spent two hours on three envelopes. That's nuts. And um, I didn't do a two hour video, but I did a one hour video. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is using napkins to cover envelopes. And I'm using, I've already taken the, the two white ones off. So I have just the really thin decorative one. And I'm using um, Scotch Create glue stick. You can get it on Amazon. And I am going to just be gluing it to the entire thing here. And you can move things around to try and find, you know, just, just what you want. Or you can just go for it, you know, totally up to you. Um, the, it, I don't know if you notice, and usually they have one, it, it's the same image on each side. So it's this way, and you turn it over, it's this way. So if you go like this... This one is upside down to this one. So like the butterflies are upside down. I kind of want to get this butterfly in the lower one. And I might be able to do that. But then again, I don't want this flower right there. So I'm just gonna go for it right over on the side. That's what I'm gonna do. So um, just kind of figure out your position before you go so that you're not sitting and playing with it while your glue is drying. If you haven't used this glue yet, works really well. It doesn't dry right away. It's very sticky. It's kind of stringy. Um, it's good stuff. So I'm just putting a layer on it, going this direction, and then I'm going to be going this direction here in a second, but I wanna make sure that I'm not getting glue down inside of the envelope. Okay. And wipe that glue off. That's it's so sticky really, so it's a good thing if you can wipe the glue off of your fingers. And then I'm going to take it off of this so that my napkin doesn't stick to the paper. And then we're just going to lay it down. Making sure we get it over to the side hopefully, the edge. And then a little bit of wrinkle is fine, but for the most part, if your napkin isn't all wrinkly, then it should be okay and will lay down pretty well. I have used the Scotch Create to glue down napkins before and the napkins really stay. They don't peel off or anything. It's really good glue. Just kind of getting it everywhere making sure it's all good and down. And then we can go ahead and cut around. I'm gonna turn it over um, so that we can see just a little bit better what we're doing. Trying not to cut the envelope, only the napkin. And I just got the envelope, so that's okay. Try and get just that much off the other side. Yeah, right. <laughs> so what did I talk about in the last video? Not much. I didn't have much to say. Um, it is really cold outside. We had gotten snow. Today's 
Thursday. So it started snowing on Tuesday night and it was supposed to just, you know, snow just for a little while and then we were supposed to have some wind. And um, the National Weather Service, you know how they send warnings on the phone? It sent one for a snow squall. I had to look that up. <laughs> I live where it snows all the time, but I had to look up what a snow squall was. If you don't know, it's when it blows the snow around and creates whiteout conditions. So apparently that happened. Uh, luckily, I wasn't driving home from work at the time, but unfortunately, um, some people were. But I didn't hear about any bad wrecks or anything, so that's good. Sometimes it's treacherous out there. And um, I'm very thankful that I don't work outside of the home. I'm going to let that dry. It is really pretty wet still. And we're going to do a different napkin here. So I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. And we're going to do this one. I'm going to move this out of the way because we're not using it again. So the second one... I don't know if these are going to go together. I searched and searched and searched for a napkin that would kind of go with this green. It wasn't easy. So we're, we're just going to see. I don't know. It won't be the end of the world. So I think what I'm wanting is mostly the envelope. But, you know, it's it's been tough. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I want the brown or the yellow bird because it's really not the colors that are in the upper, what's in the upper napkin. So I think I'll have an easier time matching things if I do it this way. That's my, that's my thinking. Let's see, can I do it better this way, this side? No, it's not quite right, is it? Um, well, I mean, I could. No, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so again, just position it before you start gluing because otherwise you may have a huge mess to deal with. So I have another piece of paper that I've been using and we're going to do the same thing. So anyway, on, it was snowing on Tuesday night and then it really didn't look like to me that it had snow, snowed, snowed, snowed. <laughs> all that much. But on Wednesday morning, you know, I'm looking out in the backyard and I said, oh, you know, to me it looks like maybe an inch, um, you know, and I open up the back door and look out on the back porch and, you know, it looks like about an inch to me. And so I wait and wait and wait so that it warms up a little bit because it's dug on cold outside. And, um, Need a little bit more glue right in this area. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, so I decided to go out and do some shoveling in the afternoon. I had seen where the neighbor had done some snow blowing and it looked like, you know, it was melting. Even though it was really cold, it looked like his driveway was mostly melted at that point. So I thought, okay, good idea. I probably should do that. So I go out with the shovel and, oh my goodness. Okay, it's stuck. I've got to do it. It grabbed hold. So a little bit of a crooked envelope is fine. And if you have a spot that looks, you know, if you're not, okay, that was it. I couldn't. On this side, I was able to straighten out the wrinkle, but on the other side, I was not. So I just want to get it into all the creases. So, um, so I go out and I'm shoveling and when I start, yeah, it's about an inch at the end of the driveway. It was like four inches, maybe more deep. The wind had blown it so much that it was almost impossible to move, honestly. And the wind was still blowing. So that was a whole lot of fun. I'm going to cut this out just kind of more quickly and then I'll do more fine cutting on it.
So I, I quickly gave up on that and started the snow blower. And it, my husband does most of the snow blowing, so I'm not real familiar with how to use it. So I have to stand there and read the directions on how to get it going. You know how they have on machines, they have, you know, the little, I don't know, how to do how to, the steps in order to start it and everything. And I tried to follow the steps, but the steps on this particular thing, they are really not easy to follow. And the picture does not match what is actually on the snowblower, <laughs> you know? Like maybe they're using universal snowblower pictures, but they're not the ones on this particular snowblower or something like that. Anyway, I was out there trying to do it and he came out and rescued me from the task. So I just shoveled the sidewalk, or the walkway, not sidewalk, but whatever you call it, the walkway coming up to your house. Um, and the steps, steps and stuff like that. But man, it was so cold. Oh, the wind just kind of, kind of bites at your face. That was yesterday, and so today, it's real sunny and bright and everything, but it is doggone cold out there. And, um, I don't know. Luckily, no more snow, at least for a couple days, but we're supposed to get some pretty soon. Okay, so I've got those two done. Let's go back, and since this is pretty dry, we will do this part. And this napkin, unfortunately, the image, this, you know, where I'm going to be gluing down, it, the envelope is slightly whiter, but I figure since the envelope is white, I think it's fine. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of inking, so I'm not that worried about it. What I want to try and do is get some flowers and some birdhouses. So let me feel... And I want to get it in the center, <laughs> right in the middle. So it's going to be getting about that much. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I think it's cute. Hopefully I can line it up just the way I've got it here. Hopefully. Okay. So then I do this. And that one's still got some really wet glue on it. And, and then I line it up with the fold of the envelope. And then we glue again. I don't remember if I was talking about anything else necessarily. Nothing really going on other than the cold weather. Can't get that out of the way. And hope that I can get this on there well. I'm going to turn it this direction. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I think it needs to come down a little bit. Oh no, it needs to go over. Shoot. This is this is what you don't want. I can see where the fold is, so I'm trying to at least get it kind of halfway. And I didn't, but like I said, it's white over here, so I think it'll be okay. Did I do the right one? Yes. I was like, oh no. So it's a little bit more difficult cutting this off than the other side because, I mean, it just depends on where you position it. Um, the way I did it, it made it more difficult. So just do the best you can. 
And you're going to have a little bit of waste, but that's okay, right? I've got lots of napkin. And then when you come back here, you see the fold is right there. So you just want to do your best. I mean, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a quick trim. We like it. We're going to do some inking, so that'll do some separation as well, but we'll get that off. And then once these are, once I'm done cutting them, then I'll show you how to open up, or how I have been opening up the envelope pocket area. Okay. You know, I know it's kind of tedious and all that, but it's fun, I think. They're a little crooked. Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, that is drying. Okay, so we will put this, make sure it's not sticky. We'll put that there. I have no idea where I want my envelope to, let's see here. That's pretty. I think or this has a lot of white to it. Yeah, I'm gonna go just right in the middle. Um, okay, this one is good enough. I'm just using it to cover this. Okay, we're almost there, ladies, almost there. Okay, I'm going to put the glue on this because we don't need it anymore. And just do my best to sit that down somewhere, somewhere there. trim again and then we'll see how they look together if you don't have this type of glue of course you can use Mod Podge I just didn't want how you know Mod Podge is so wet and I didn't want that on the envelope that's why but I mean I'm sure it worked too or or any kind of glue you could paint onto the envelope but I imagine though there would be quite a bit of warping that you may not want. But then you could always um, put something heavy on it. Probably be fine, I would guess. Okay, just cut, cut, cut. All right. I have little bits of um, napkin all over the place. I clean my floor in my craft room pretty often because, you know, little bits and stuff like that are always everywhere. Um, but 
I mean, literally from one day to the next, it's covered again. I find the little corner, corner rounder punches. I find those things all over the place. They're stuck to my clothes or something. Okay, I think we did it. Um, there might be a little piece here or there that sticks up, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how I open up the envelope part, making sure it's down really good. And then also it's good to find your, your line Okay, so I have a rather dull razor blade. I also have the tiniest amount of water so I don't make a mess and a um, this paintbrush. And you don't always need it. Like sometimes you can get it going and it's fine um, but you just kind of, you get it started, and then once you get it started, it seems to go. So you want to just get all the way to the corner. But I don't know if I've let it dry long enough. It's the one thing about only doing, I, and the last time I did this, I tried to do three envelopes. And so there was a little bit more drying time. And it is a dull razor blade, like I said, so a sharper one would probably go faster, but I'm really not comfortable with using a really sharp one. <laughs> so you just want to be going really flat with it so that you're not cutting the back side of the envelope. It's starting to not want to open. And that may be because I got a little glue under the edge. Okay, there we go. So now that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and open this one. And we'll see if I can do it without getting it wet at all. goes pretty fast. It seems to always get caught right here. Okay, there it goes. There. So that one went a lot faster. Okay. Move that out of the way. Don't need it anymore. Move it a little farther so I don't spill. And then we're going to ink. And then I'm going to get just the edge here. Okay, and then the other side. And then you can also take and um, just you know get a little bit where it's really white like that, just to tone it down a little bit. So I think it's really pretty, but we're also going to decorate it. Let's ink this one. 
And so this is the part that really stumped me on the last one. I thought that I would be able to just, you know, throw a few things on and it'd be great. Well, most of the video was me fussing with stuff. So I don't know, maybe this one won't be shown either. We'll see, but I'll show you what I made. And I finally, I think I got them to where they're usable <laughs> at this point. Um, and of course it just, you know, it'll, it'll all go together when it's got the right page and the right tag to go behind it and all of those things. I think it'll be fine. I honestly thought I would get a couple of videos recorded today because I had um, prepped this, a lot of it yesterday, but I just didn't feel like crafting anymore. And um, so I thought, oh, I'll just do the video in the morning, clean up, be able to do another video. Okay, so I think it's really cute. Let's, we'll see what they look like on a book page before decorating them. So there's that one. That's cute, I think. And then, and then this one. Okay. So now let's give a try. I'm going to close my ink up and see what we think about the decorating. <laughs> okay, I'm nervous now. <laughs> um, okay, let me get these napkins out of my way. I tried to pull some things out that I thought would look good together and actually maybe do a little different route. So which one was I thinking? Um, probably I'm not sure maybe this one maybe this this like that okay so I was thinking about doing this one so that it has a crazy long thing coming off of it but I don't know because I was going to layer it up a lot. And I was just thinking, well, how would that look on the page? And then that would cover that. I don't know. I'm you guys, I'm just going to do it. I, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so Let's go ahead and measure this out. I think I want it there because it looks like this needs to be trimmed a little bit. I mean, it never is going to be perfect because it's me with scissors, but... Maybe in there. And I can trim off the sides up here when we're all done. So, um, Susan, do you recognize, I believe this, this was from you in one of, in the happy mail this, that you sent me the first time. I believe that's from you. And so is this one, I'm pretty sure. So thank you for that. Let's see. It's actually kind of just the right size if I cut here because I need to trim down the edges off of these things. They're a little bit too big, but I'm gonna trim them once, once I get them glued down. So I think I wanna leave space for my envelope, you know, so it's obvious that the envelope's there. So maybe right there. So 
just going to put some glue here. Okay, and then this one. I'm wondering how much in camera you are. Okay, good. this way. I haven't done anything lacy and ruffly and flowery for a little while, so I thought I'd change it up a bit. Okay, let me get these trimmed off. Maybe I'll use some scissors that work better for fabric so it doesn't take as long. This side has just a tiny bit, so I'm just going to These are my fabric only scissors. I keep them put away so that I don't grab them on accident. Okay, and then this one. And it kind of has a swoop to it, and I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. So my envelope has a dress on. <laughs> and, you know, you can leave it so that it's hanging out the bottom. Or you could move it really up high so that your pocket's up here. And this is almost like, almost like a fabric flip. I could even add fabric down at the bottom to make it a fabric flip. Wouldn't that be interesting? So it'd be a fabric flip with a pocket. A pocket and a pocket. That's not a bad idea. It'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Anyway, so there's that. Now, I don't know if I want to add anything else because it's kind of a lot. But let me just see what I have laying around here. That's too big. I have this I could do. That's kind of pretty. It's really, really fat. So... I don't know. No, too blendy. I don't hate that. I want this to lay down because it's, to me, making it not look right. I have to stand up. Yeah. Nah. Talk about, you know, a lot, but that's okay. I don't mind. That's what it's all about, right? I mean, junk journals, this, again, I say all the time, I don't make junk journals. I make journals because I don't want anybody telling me that I'm, you know, saying something that I'm not. I'm doing something that I'm, you know what I mean, how people can be. I just, I'm making journals, so just, there we go. What does that look like to you guys? Let me see if I have a brad that would go in there, that would pull all the colors, or some of them. I have a few that are um, a little bit bigger. This would probably work as far as colors go, but they're 
it's straight lines and the flowers are hardly straight lines. But it doesn't mean I hate it and that I won't use it. Let me see what else I have. I have one with some grapes on it. One with the bird, but it's not really the right colors. Look at this one. This one might work. It's polka dots. Let's see what else there is real quick. These I've had for a really long time, so, and and I, when I did get them, I'm pretty sure they were at a yard sale. Let me just poke that in there and see what I think. what it looks like to you guys. I don't know. It's kind of fun. We're just going to do it. And I'm just putting glue right there in the middle. Okay. So there's that one. I think it's really cute. Okay. I'm much much more happy with <laughs> my thought process than in the last video. Let me tell you, it was a struggle. Okay, so this one, I'm thinking the same thing that I'm going to do kind of a long thing. And I believe that these one came, this came from Susan as well. So thank you, Susan. I don't know if I said that before. Um, when I start saying your name, because sometimes I get sidetracked with what I'm doing and I forget my, like I lose my train of thought. So I apologize if that happened. Um, it's too busy, isn't it? For this. Okay, let me see. I have this. I feel like it needs white. What do I have? I have some that's a little bit shorter than the other one that we used on the last. And then a layer of something else. Hmm. There you this okay, this is familiar. <laughs> this is what happened before. The just not knowing. Yeah, I don't know. Um you know, there's something that I have here that I've been cutting my doilies out of. You know, my little my little doilies. So I've not used the edge yet. Nope, it's too big. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna have so much to clean up. You have no idea how much to clean up. How about a, um, like, eyelet type? Is that what this is called, eyelet? get this out of the way. I like it. The only thing I don't like is the ruffle. I do have some somewhere that I have cut the ruffle off, I think. Let's see. Oh, wait a second. Well, yeah, here's some with, there's no ruffle. But wait, there's, um, where did it go? Here. This one's interesting. It's that kind that um, 
I believe you're supposed to run like a satin ribbon through it or something. I have to stand up, I can't see. Nope. All right, you know, and I planned, I did, I planned. This is so frustrating to me. I do think you guys that these are kind of hard if I'm being honest, um, a lot harder than I thought they would be. So it may be that this one doesn't get a whole bunch of ruffle. It just gets just a tiny bit of something. And we're going to call it not ridiculous. <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, I guess we could do some that's just more simple, couldn't we? Let me see if I have a good thread to go in that one. And if so, then... And I think that we'll just be done with that. I wish I had some a green one, but the only thing that I have green is a square, and I'm having a really hard time picking it up. It's a little green square, but let's see. Is it cute? I think it's cute. Maybe we'll just go real simple on this one because none of the other ones are simple. I'm interested to see what you guys think. You can only tell me what you think if you like them. <laughs> what? There'll be no comments. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's that's gonna be enough, I think. So let's not go not go too crazy on this one for multiple reasons. Okay, the glue's stuck. Turn that just a little bit so that the edge is kind of poking towards a, a petal instead of where you can see it. Glue strings. All right. Oh boy, you guys, what a challenge this has been for me today. I like that at the bottom, but on the back side. What do you think? See, I just cannot leave well enough alone. Okay, I'm going to put this just coming off the bottom. going to take me a little while to clean up this mess. I think it's pretty. Okay, so now let me show you the ones that I was working on earlier. So much mess. Okay, so that's the other one we did today. 
This one was so hard. I played and played and played and played and played. So it, I don't know if it'd be better on like a whiter type of paper, but I had a really hard time with this one. And the inside, I used the same envelope for, I mean the same napkin for the top. I didn't mix because I couldn't find anything to mix. So there's that one. And then I did this one. And this one. Okay, you guys, that's only been, you know, three hours of my day. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that, you know, it's something that you will give a try or I don't know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.